What's going on, everyone? It's time to talk about uh, a type of movie I don't really talk very often about, and that's a musical. I did not expect this to be a musical, to be honest. Like, I knew it had catchy music in it and stuff, but I thought it was just a soundtrack to a musical. But today I'm going to be talking about The Greatest Showman. Now, I'm, I love, like, old 19, like, 30s or whatever this play, film takes place in like type of stuff like P.T. Barnum and stuff like I looking up all that I used to do that all in high school like old freak shows and like there's a lot of good movies based on them like freaks and uh stuff like that um that, or freaked that's a good one too so I thought I should check out The Greatest Showman because um I actually thought this was a drama film uh, boy was I wrong so now yeah, greatest showman is a musical and uh you follow the life of P.T. Barnum which actually I don't think half of this even is actually happening beat P.T. Barnum's life but don't quote me on that I am not sure oh <laughs> uh, yeah but uh yeah so you follow him from starts off when he was a kid and then he's an outcast and a homeless kid and has a crush on a girl and stuff and then he like marries her has kids and then it moves on to him want trying to realize his dream of being a showman and then he starts um making a cir form a circus to uh uh what yeah to show off like bearded ladies and freaks of the, that time period now this was acceptable taking people that weren't accepted and showing them giving them some a decent life at a show being in a show and uh yeah, showing people that they're giving them something to do other than just, like, hiding in a corner and stuff. Um, yeah, so this starts Hugh Jackman, and, uh, yeah, it was released by 20th Century Fox December 20th, 2017. Um, it's produced by Lawrence Mark, uh, Peter Chairman, and Gino Topping, and written by Jenny Fox and Bill Conan. And directed by Michael Gracie, who is the director of Rocket Man, that terrible musical, that terrible one. Not the comedy I reviewed like a year ago. Uh, he's also doing the Naruto live action film that's coming out. Um, bet you won't be as good as the last Airbender, that one. Uh, yeah, better. He's also done Better Man and Order of Seven, whatever those are. And it had a but box office earnings of $435 million. So it was a moderate success. Now, this does have some really good music. I give it that. I just don't get... To me, the music didn't really mesh well with, like, the story or the people singing it. <laughs> like, I couldn't picture them. Like, you just sort of tell. Like, certain people I heard sing... Like, Hugh Jackman sang in films before and stuff. And, uh, I don't know. Some of others, I didn't find the music fit the scenarios that well. It was a little too poppy for like it was this time's these days pop music sort of style of catchiness with that time period where where like I don't think that fits well with a story like this and um yeah I, I did love the cinematography and like some the way like the freaks here are just like shown and stuff that was good but um just the singing threw it off. I thought, I think I would have preferred this better as a drama film. Like I thought it was. I don't think I would, um, I, I, yeah, like something about the music and stuff kind of threw it off and I couldn't get into it as much. Like, don't get me wrong. Like when, uh, um, when P.T. Barnum in the film, uh, goes to Britain and real finds an opera singer and then puts his tries to make her a big star uh, without even hearing her <laughs> and stuff which I don't think he actually did that but I could be wrong on that um, and then uh, she ends up being a big thing and then the uh, outsiders are, uh, don't like the fact that they're pushed to the side but Man, like that one song where the opera, the first song you hear where she like sings to like a packed huge theater and stuff. That was such a good song. That one fit that scene, but the rest of it kind of threw me off. And I didn't think it was as good as some people are saying it was. For me anyways. I'm not huge into musicals. So like Sweeney Todd's a good musical, but that has horror themes and stuff that I'm mean, like. This... It had like, it had, it, the setup and stuff was good, but 
it's just the music I didn't think fit with it. So it kind of threw up the whole thing for me. But it's still watchable. A lot of people are going to like this. And it's been out for a while, so most people have probably seen this. <laughs> um, but yeah, I thought it was a good film, but it could have been way better. Um, so I'm going to give The Greatest Showman a 3 out of 5 in the middle because, yeah, it, the music, like, for some reason didn't mesh well with me. So, and I didn't think it went well with the picture. But, oh well. Yeah, now, Les Mirables, or that French film, that, or, that's a good piece of a good musical that actually works. Also, that one's been, stories in the musical has been on, and been in plays for like, since like the 1800s. So, yeah, obviously it works. But this was an okay attempt. I'm pretty sure there's way worse musicals than this. But it's still watchable, it just wasn't for me. But I still thought it, the story part was interesting. It definitely was, I think, exaggerated and a lot was made up more than, uh, what actually happened in real life, which is a little disappointing. Now, if we get that actual drama film I want, perfect. <laughs> Just try to keep it true to it. Anyways, I'm rambling on now, so there's a trailer link down below if you want to check it out if you've never seen this or whatever, or don't know what I'm talking about, it's linked down below, so you check that out. Also, make sure you check out my Instagram, which is linked down below, where I was post clips of films I'm going to be in the future on my story. And so follow me there. Uh, I usually put the subgenre film and a hashtag in the film and the the title of the film and the hashtag so you're aware of it um yeah and, or you could also follow me on letterbox at Derek p reviews where i post my first start reading right after watching the film uh yeah so follow me on one of those two stay in the loop like this video share it so more people are aware of it comment your opinions of the film down below let me know what your thoughts are on it and if you have any films and want to hear my opinions on in the future comment those down below uh, i'll try to get my hair to get to them as soon as i can have, and if i can find them um I watch pretty much anything. Like I watched a musical where I prefer to watch horror films, but um, yeah. So yeah, just come with them. I'll try to get to them as soon as I can, and if I can find them, uh, make sure you subscribe. So we can find something weird and odd, and just something interesting to watch together. So and so you can hear my opinions even on popular films as well. So yeah, but um, that's it for this one. Uh, yeah, watch out for all the singing freaks out there, and I guess I'll see you all in the next review, which is actually one of, I think I know what, I, I, there's two films I want to do, and I'm probably going to do them next, and they're quite entertaining, at least one of them, I haven't seen the second one, but you'll have to see in the future, or follow me on Instagram, and you'll probably know about it, so, yeah, okay, so, till the next one, I guess I'll see you all later, and cheers.